G'day everyone, sorry for the interruption, we'll be back to the video in a second. Just wanted to say if you're watching this because you're working from home or perhaps you're on lockdown at home and stuck there and you're looking for tech content, hopefully you enjoy this and hopefully you use this time to improve upon your own tech skills. But most importantly, stay safe, stay healthy and be mindful and respectful of, of the needs of others in this time. Anyway, on to the video. Here's the question, what is a big file? I understand that they're obviously just bigger files, that's what the name suggests, but why? Why not just have more files in your database? Before Oracle 8.0, with the historical row ID we used to have, the maximum data files in a database is 1024. With the new row ID that came in in Oracle 8.0, we now have maximum data files per table space of 1024, 65,000 table spaces per database. That gives us incredible scale but it also gives us potentially 67 million data files. Now, if you've ever had a folder on your Windows machine or a USB stick or anything like that, and you've done delete 67 million files, rest assured, it takes a while. Managing that many files is a big drama. In fact, one of the motivations for storing information in a database is because file systems generally weren't designed to scale to millions or billions of files. Operating systems tend to struggle uh, when you get to that many data files. Back in the Oracle 8 days, that's pretty much the only option we had because a lot of the databases ran on file systems which simply didn't have capacity to have single files larger than a certain amount. You go back to those times when you had things like FAT32 and FAT and stuff like that for, for Windows. You know, a lot of files were capped at four gig or 32 gig or those sort of those binary powers. Therefore, if you wanted to have a large database, you had to have lots of files. So we had our 10 bits for files, our blocks there. So we had a ceiling inside Oracle as well of 4 million blocks. So if even no matter how big a file could be on the operating system, 4 million blocks times 8 kilobytes, typical block size, means you're capped at 32 gigs. That is the biggest file you could ever address inside an Oracle database because we only allocate 22 bits for the block of reference. 8K block size means the largest file you can have is 32 gig in an Oracle database. That's why when you create a brand new database, even in recent versions, you'll notice that the files generally are auto extend out to 32 gigabytes on an 8K block size, because that's the highest number of blocks that we can reference with your standard row ID format. Over the years, of course, operating systems have caught up. They now support much, much larger files than 32 gigabytes or Oracle introduced their own effectively file management system. Once we started getting the things like ASM, we didn't need to rely on the operating system in terms of what it could provide in terms of files. We could control that stack in the storage ourselves. But even with those advancements, the conventional row ID leaves us stuck at 22 bits for a block offset, which means 4 million blocks, which means we're capped at 32 gigabytes. Maybe there's a way around it. We introduced the concept of files per table space back in Oracle 8, because we wanted to be able to grow the database larger. But then the operating systems caught up. They said we could have bigger files. ASM came along. You could actually have files that aren't managed by the operating system. So maybe having multiple files per table space is something we could do away with. Maybe we could just have massive files for table spaces. Because if we do that, if we ditch the file number inside these row IDs, then we could allocate those 10 bits to the block number as well. Rather than having 22 bits for a block reference, we could suck those 10 bits in we used to use for files into being a block offset as well. If we can't have a file offset per table space, we're now limited to one file per table space because we've thrown away the file reference. But what it does do is give us 32 bits worth of block offset. What that means now is yes, we have one file per table space, but that file can be up to 32 terabytes now in size with an 8K block size, as opposed to 32 gig in the old days. So that's what a big file table space is. You sacrifice the multiple files such that we can pack more of those bits in a row ID into the block offset as opposed to the file number. All we've done is effectively refactor those file bits into block bits. 32 terabyte files, still 65,000 table spaces per database, still incredible scale in terms of what you've got there. 
but now you have less files. That could be easier management for you as a DBA, but also most importantly, easier management for the operating system to manage all those files. Operating systems generally don't do well with millions and millions of files. One of the things that people panic about when they hear about big files is, well, I hear a lot of things about backup and recovery or various parallel operations that require on the file by file granularity. We can dedicate slaves to individual files. One of the cool things with big files is the way we manage them is we can address them in segments. So even if you just have one giant file for a large table space, Arman and other parallel operations can still dive into that file in parallel chunks. We're not limited in our parallel operations. One thing I will man mention though is if you are using big file table spaces, generally I wouldn't be relying too much on the auto extend facility. And the reason I say that is with a normal table space, you might have say 12 files associated with it. If that table space needs to grow dramatically, you're doing a big data load, for example, file operations can be done in parallel. So what will happen is all 12 of those files can be grown at the same time. So if you need to grow that size by say 50 gigabytes all in one big hit, let me make it 48 gigabytes because I can divide by 12. If I need to grow that, that table space by 48 gigabytes, I can grow each of the 12 data files by four gig each. And I can do that in parallel. With a big file table space, I've only got one file. If I need to grow up by 50 gigs, that is done in serial, I need to incrementally grow 50 gigs on one file. Rapid growth in a big file table space, or in fact, any table space that only has one file is slower than if you had it spread across multiple files. So with big file table spaces, as the name suggests, we're gonna put big stuff in there. So look at pre-allocating, have lots of free space in there to avoid getting perhaps a slowdown when you have to auto extend. One of the cool things in all versions of Oracle from 11 onwards is you'll notice there's a background process called SMC0, Space Management Coordinator. It actually goes and tries to look at growth rates in your table spaces and rather than letting your table space get full and then auto extending, it will actually try auto extend in advance to avoid you getting stuck with a slowdown, especially for big file table spaces. So that's big file table spaces, a way of getting huge files and not as many files on your database. Yeah.